two and a half hours of driving, I finally arrived. So it's raining. Good thing Drew is here. Thank you, Drew. Super, super ganda. It feels so good after the massage. I used to not know how to love myself and that changed in January 2019 when I attended this convention for global speakers in India. And one of the speakers shared that the person you need to love the most is yourself. And I felt that was so selfish. What? You need to love yourself first and you need to love yourself the most? I thought that the way to live is to deny yourself and love others first. So I, I thought that loving yourself was selfish. I thought that the way to live is, is to always love other people, put their needs first, and neglect your own needs, die to yourself. That was my thinking before. And so when I heard that philosophy from that speaker in India, it really changed me like I was re I was really bothered and so when I went back to the Philippines I started to read books on self-love and read articles on self-love as well written by psychologists psychiatrists etc and they all agreed that yes the way to do it is to love yourself first so you can love others better if you don't love yourself nothing will ever be enough you will be as successful as you want to be you will earn all the money that you want to earn people can applaud you you can become as famous as you want but deep within you would still feel like something is lacking there's something missing it's because what you really long for the deepest desire of your heart is not found outside of yourself. It's not found in your achievements, in your accomplishments, in other people's applause, in money, in successes, in fame, etc. The deepest need of your soul is love. And oftentimes, we lack love, specifically self-love. We don't know how to love ourselves. And I can relate with you because that was my journey before. I did not know how to love myself. And no matter how successful I got, I felt like there was still something missing but thank god because i discovered this beautiful thing called self-love and this is the reason why now i enjoy life more life is more meaningful life is happier life is more peaceful and joyful and so this is the reason why we're having this vlog this video i'd like to share with you five healthy ways on how to love yourself this is how healthy self-love looks like the first way to know that you have healthy love for yourself is when you know how to celebrate your strengths. When other people compliment you, you're comfortable accepting their compliments and you can say thank you. And even if other people don't compliment you, you don't wait for other people to compliment you to feel good about yourself because you know who you are, you know what you're good at, and you know how to give that compliment to yourself. So let me show you an example. When people tell me, Sha, you're so generous, I say thank you. When they tell me, Sha, you're so good when it comes to writing and speaking, I say thank you because I know that's true. Because I know that those are my strengths. Those are the strengths that God gave me. When someone says me, Sha, you're blooming today, I say, I know, right? Thank you. <laughs> so there, you have to know your strengths and you have to know learn how to celebrate your strengths and don't wait for other people to compliment you. Learn to give that compliment to yourself. Number two is this, you know your needs and you know how to meet those needs. You know how many hours of sleep you need, you know what your favorite food is, you know what makes you happy and things like that. And you know how to meet those needs. You don't wait for other people to meet those needs for you. For example, if receiving flowers on your birthday is your thing, you know how to meet your own needs so that in case other people won't give you those flowers, you can give it to yourself. This is one of the things I see in relationships. Sometimes we expect the other person to know what we want and what we need without us communicating that need to that person. And when that other person fails to meet that particular need, we may feel disappointed or worst, we may even feel resentful. So my advice is to know your needs, 
know how to communicate your needs and know how to meet your needs as well the reason why I'm here is because one of my needs this week is to have my me time in a beautiful garden like this and have a fine dining experience and treat myself to a massage as well treat myself to the spa and so this is the reason why I'm here I know that I need to carve out time for me to pamper myself today and let God pamper me through this beautiful nature there and I'm so happy today I'm so happy today because I got to rest from work today although I love my work and I wanted this day to be my rest day I had I got to have a fine dining experience and I got to go to the spa and I'm happy and look at all these beautiful surroundings it's so beautiful here and uh, if you have a chance come visit Sonia's garden in Tagaytay you embrace your weaknesses you have weaknesses it's okay it doesn't diminish your value you're still you you're still the beautiful magnificent marvelous you all right by the way look at where, where I am shooting this it's a restroom Huh. It's not my restroom, so I'm here in a spa. I used to be so shy and introverted, so that was my weakness. I couldn't even talk to other people. Uh, but now I feel like I've overcome that weakness already. And I'm grateful that God gave me that weakness before because now I can relate with other people who are also so shy and introverted. And I can help them get out of their shells as well and be more confident. And there's nothing wrong with being introverted, right? It's fun to be an introvert. <laughs> okay, and also another weakness of mine is that I, I took piano lessons, I took swimming lessons, but until now, I couldn't play uh, a decent piece on piano. And I couldn't swim until now. And that's okay because I haven't given up on learning those things yet. <laughs> and another weakness of mine, which which used to be an insecurity my biggest insecurity growing up was that i was highly sensitive i was too sensitive and every time people would tell me shy you're too sensitive i felt like oh my god they, now they know my weakness now they know who i am who will love me who will still accept me right i felt so i felt so defensive for being sensitive because i felt like being sensitive was bad and then later on, because of the self-love journey, because I learned how to love myself in a healthy way, I learned to embrace this part of me that yes, I am, high, I am sensitive and in fact, I am a highly sensitive person according to Elaine Aron's test. And now I embrace it. I see it not as a weakness but as a superpower. How so? Whenever I give talks and I'm in a room full of people, I could sense... Who are the people that need a particular message from me? I could sense who is that person who needs this particular sentence coming from me. And I could deliver those sentences and those words. And when I look at their eyes, I could, I could feel their emotions. I could feel that the message landed in their heart. So yes, I'm a, I'm a highly sensitive person. And that's okay. That is, my, that is not even... Now that I've learned to love myself and embrace my weaknesses, I don't consider it a weakness for me it's a superpower so in your case what are your weaknesses that you're insecure about learn to accept and embrace your weaknesses god created you exactly as you are exactly as you are he did not make a mistake in creating you so embrace the entire you your strengths and even your weaknesses number four you create a safe space for you to be who you are you create a safe space for you to feel whatever it is you're feeling you don't judge yourself for feeling uncomfortable emotions like like anger sadness whatever other uncomfortable emotions you're feeling you don't judge yourself you accept yourself where you are and you tell yourself whenever you feel uncomfortable you don't you don't deny your feelings you tell yourself it's okay you're feeling sad, it's okay, I love you anyway. You're feeling angry, it's okay, I love you anyway. You're feeling insecure, it's okay, I love you anyway. I love you unconditionally. So there, you create a safe space for you to feel whatever feelings you are feeling. It is safe and you talk to yourself in a kind and gentle way. And number five is this, you know who you are. 
you know that you are God's beloved. Look at these beautiful surroundings where I'm in, this beautiful garden. God created this. God created the universe. God created everything beautiful that you see. And He is a God who is so in love with you, who is so into you. He is your provider, your protector, and He pursues you daily. You know who you are. And because you know who you are, you know how to take good care of yourself as well. You know how to treat yourself well. Because you are the daughter of the king. It means you're a princess. Or if you're a man, you're a, you're a prince. You are royalty. That's who you are. Remember who you are. And when you do, you will learn to love yourself, accept yourself, and celebrate who you are. So there, those are the five ways by which you can love yourself in a healthy way. And I'd like to encourage you to take that time to love yourself. Love yourself, get to know yourself, get to know your strengths and celebrate your strengths. Get to know your weaknesses and learn how to embrace your weaknesses. Know your needs and meet those needs. And learn to talk to yourself in a kind and gentle way. Create a safe space for yourself to be yourself, to be all that you are. Don't deny parts of yourself. Everything is there because God intended it that way. Even your weaknesses. Alright? And, of course, know who you are. You are a child of God. You are His beloved. He is so in love with you. He loves you so, 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 so much. And He is interested in you. He is interested not just in the big things, but in the small things as well. Learn to communicate. Whenever you feel like, Oh, God, I need some love. Or, God, I'm feeling a little insecure today. Go to Him and ask Him, God, fill up my, fill up my love tank. I feel a little insecure today. Can you please love me? Can you please embrace me? Because he is always there. He is always listening. Okay? So I hope you like this video. I really enjoyed making this video. Um, it's so fun for me. And I hope this video will help you love yourself better. And I wrote a book called Love Yourself Today. Wherein I share the daily self-care practices to experience love, joy, and peace amidst difficulties. If you want to get your own copy, click the link below or go to this link and you'll be able to get your e-copy of that book. Alright? In the comments section below, please let me know which of the five ways or five things I shared with you resonated with you the most and why. I look forward to reading your comments. And of course, like always, if you like this video, please hit the like button and the subscribe button as well so you will be notified every time I release new videos that will help you love the most important person in your life, yourself. Videos that will help you become the best version of yourself. This is Shana Sino. I wish you success and happiness. See you in my next video. God bless! Hi, so I'm now in the car and I'll drive back to Manila. I'm just so happy that I took this time to um, to pamper myself here in Sonia's garden, Tagaytay. Okay, so the car is currently parked. Um, thank you for watching the video.